Yeah, he goes through a very intense transformation. The journey begins with um, him meeting Shelly, falling madly in love, and uh, then they both get murdered. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, and, um, and it really sets him off on a course, kind of a mythological course of what he could, uh, what he's willing to do to get her back. Well, fantastic. I loved everyone. Um, and, uh, and yeah, yeah, it was very important for the movie that uh, Twigs and I would um, have chemistry and get along, and we did so on screen and off screen, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, the whole cast is fantastic, and it was a pleasure working with Danny as well, Houston. The kind of third act opera fight scene changed as we were shooting. Um, so we had to kind of align the choreography a little bit more with uh, where Eric's emotional state was uh, and is at that point in the movie. Um, and I think it was very important for me to... Um, the choreography wasn't that, wasn't that you know, uh, hard to learn, but it was uh, about really anchoring it into where his emotional state was. Uh, and I think that, that that kind of colors it. It's his sort of nihilistic climax of the movie and, and his emotional state in that uh, uh, at that point of the movie and that was very important so it was kind of structuring a lot of the fight scenes as if they were um, emotional scenes yeah um, I think when we meet her Shelley is a young woman who is in desperate need of love um, in need to be seen and to be heard and I think she finds in Eric a confidant and someone that can really bring her dreams of companionship and trust to life. Yeah, I mean, Bill's such an incredible person and I think we were incredibly lucky to have a spark together straight away and just a very natural chemistry. Um, he's somebody that has become a very dear friend of mine and I couldn't think of anyone better to have my first big role in a film with, you know, just to guide me through the process and everything from my first scene to, um, you know, all of this press, it's so incredible to be next to someone that's so special and so kind. Well, I worked very closely with Kurt and Bart just to really create outfits that felt very authentic to Shelley. I've said before that Shelley feels like she comes from a real scene. Um, she comes from a world of uh, cool, kind of quite like desolate kids that live on the fringes of society that feel like they don't fit in. So I took her and Bart to this incredible movement, I'm um, sorry, not movement collective, art collective called Fantastic Twelves in London. They make clothes. And so we went and we got a lot of Shelley's outfits from there and Eric's and um, it just felt like we were taking a piece of my scene in London into the film of The Crow. Um, this film is it's really about love and it's about finding somebody who sees you like the real you and that can bring you back from your own hell you know like Shelley gets sucked down into a hell and Eric fights for her to bring her back but I think in the human experience we're all susceptible to falling into our own personal hell and we all need someone that loves us whether it's a family member a friend or a lover to reach down and care about us enough to bring us back and, and that's what Eric does for Shelley and I think that everybody deserves a love that's as deep and as true and as raw as what they have. Oh my god it's so exciting. Well first of all so exciting to be in New York. Um, such a dream to be here and I, I love the city. I haven't been for ages. So yeah, it's a dream come true. It feels like it was a long-ish time coming so I'm really, see, really happy to see the fruits of our labor kind of coming into fruition. When you meet her um, First of all, extremely stylish. I think she's a very modern girl and she really tries to do the right thing, but she can be naive. And she goes through a really crazy journey um, of trying to protect her friends and trying to deal with the whirlwind that is the magic of the crow. So watch the rest of it and find out, I guess. The most beautiful thing, aside from seeing everyone's talent, is just being able to see how kind and appreciative and talented everyone is as well. It's amazing when you're so, so talented at what you do and also just an amazing person. So I feel so lucky to be part of this. Rupert was amazing. He has a beautiful vision for uh, what this new version of The Crow was to be. and. I guess was extremely clear and detailed with his direction and just really made me feel seen and validated every time I was on set. So he was awesome to work with.
first of all, the action, the choreography, the gore, the violence, the intimacy, everything about it is better in a big screen. Um, the bigger the better, and it'll be beautiful to watch. Um, I think both of them uh, have a real naturalism to them. I think there's something obviously kind of magical and wondrous about Twigs, and Bill to me is a very empathetic man, but also he's quite terrifying. So the combination of the two of them, they were just very, uh, very quick to fall in love together, which was really amazing to see. Stunts is, uh, is, is a very fun part of the process, obviously. Bill came to the movie physically very able and, and uh, uh, powerful. He was ripped and uh, muscular and very um, athletic. So really the, the part I had to play was to get the emotion of the scenes uh, through the action set pieces so that it wasn't just gratuitous violence, it had an emotional purpose and Bill really brought that to the, to the table. Unbelievable, the chemistry between those two from day one was just off the charts incredible. So to see it on screen now all put together, it's, it's even better. The biggest part of adapting it was trying to get the essence of the book right and then blending it with Rupert's vision. Rupert had this incredible vision for what he wanted for the film and then trying to make sure that it still did justice to James's work and it still felt like The Crow, it still felt like the book felt the first time you read it. That was sort of, that was, that, that was what was in the front of my mind the entire time when I was writing on it. Um, and then adapting a graphic novel, what was cool about this project was it was one of the first projects I worked on where it was almost like visuals first. You know, we tried to basically, you know, incorporate all the narrative dramatic elements, but we were almost starting with images first and ideas coming out of Rupert's brain and trying to make them work and, and, and ideas from the book, the visual images, and then trying to, you know, put it all together and make it exciting and emotional. Oh, it's, this film is an absolute visual masterpiece. I mean, that's what Rupert does best. This on a big screen, it feels like it completely sucks you into the world um, because of how great he is at telling a story with the camera. Oh, Lex um, is an assassin, so um, we meet up with the crow, we kill the crow, and then he goes on a crazy journey. They come back and then he kills everybody in the end. Amazing, I learned so much off all the other cast members. Um, they were all super talented, super humble, and great people. Rupert Sanders knows what he's doing, he knows what he's trying to get. He's very comfortable working with him. And then we've got the final things that we need to get straight away. Like he knows what he wants and he knows what he's doing. That's an amazing journey <laughs> that has started many years ago. My heart is singing. We've taken such a long time and been through so many things together. And to finally be at this point, like there's something, I've had a knot in my stomach all week and it's finally lifted up and it's coming to my throat. And I now want to sing about the crow and I'm so excited. We've made it. We made it. We made it. It was, it was a real challenge, but we are so pleased that now the movie will go to an audience that will discover a new, a new movie about them and their feeling now of nowadays. And I hope that they will fly with the crowd. Thank you. And we have to thank Samuel Hadida, Victor's late brother, and our partner and love and everything. Oh, Bill. Well, yeah. for me, I mean, each, Bill was a no-brainer, though. But each of them has an incredibly powerful, emotional quality that they bring through in a totally unique and authentic way. And they can bring this gothic, dark story to life in a really relatable... You know, it's hard to do all this dark stuff um, in a way that's relatable. But because they have such a purity and accessibility of their own and other people's emotions, they can really bring that to the screen. And that's what we need, so that's why we went with it. I don't know, I think Bill was the only choice when we looked at a lot of actors and he just, he, he personified the crow at the end of the day. Really, audiences need to see this in the theater from my point of view, is that Rupert is an incredible director of what I would call the iconic moment. He can create just seemingly out of, as far as I can see, out of nothing. He can create these moments that make you feel as if the universe has shifted in some sort of unexplicable way. And to really have the full impact of that, I think you need to see it 
in a 60 foot screen because suddenly the world does you're, you're living it like it's a real thing and you feel and see the the universe shift around you and it just knocks you sideways it's that's why people should see it on the big screen to have that impact when we return the film um, she's already estranged from her daughter uh, played by FK Twigs and um, and is incredibly profoundly deeply hurt by that and has hoped for a reconciliation but her daughter something happens to her daughter I don't want to give a spoiler people don't know already <laughs> and, um, and therefore that opportunity is never gonna come again but then she meets the crow who has come back to try and um, re wreak revenge for what's happened to her daughter and she warns him she tries to warn him that the forces that are behind uh, the terrible events with her daughter are far darker than he could possibly imagine and she is as someone who's had dealings with them in the past oh it's fantastic fantastic people to work with um, not only do you hope that you know you're going to get on as actors but you hope to have a, a fully collaborative experience and uh, work incredibly well together to for the good of the of the work and make it as excellent as possible and um, it was a joy to work with Bill Skarsgård and FK Twigs. Absolutely loved working with Rupert Sanders, absolutely loved it and um, we'd do it again in a heartbeat. He's an amazing director, he's an amazing visionary and uh, what he's brought to this film is beyond anything anyone could possibly imagine. I think he's one of the best directors uh, working in the industry today. I think this is the kind of film you should see in a theatre, not wait for it to come on uh, TV, although it would be great, if you, um, but it's, uh, it, it, it demands a huge canvas. I think the story is uh, expansive, the theme is expansive, I think it's incredibly exciting. I think it's uh, quite unlike some of the films I've seen quite recently and it demands a, hu a big cinema screen and a cinema release. Oh, it's very exciting to be here. It was a long journey with all the filmmakers involved and to finally see this you know, kind of passion project for all of us come together and, and get a screen here. This really like iconic theater is, is pretty amazing. So, um, yeah, it's very fulfilling. Yeah, I think Rupert did an amazing job casting this film and, you know, Bill brought so much sort of pathos and angst and sensitivity and capability of real violence to this, to the role and Twigs was like was so organic in, in building the character with her that we really wanted these two to feel like you know doomed lovers and to feel like like people of this generation who are artists and trying to find their way and, and getting sort of bowled over at every every chance and and yeah Bill and Twigs just had that energy that felt like chaotic and exciting and romantic and they were, they were perfect. Yeah, it was different because I think everyone had a real reverence for, for the graphic novel and for the experiences that the author of the graphic novel had gone through to create that. You know, this is always this kind of mythic piece of, of storytelling that was really born out of out of loss, out of out of love that had died and this feeling of a desire for some kind of grief and vengeance. And so I think everyone sort of brought their own experiences into that and so it was a really open and collaborative writing process and really wanting to honor the kind of the mythos and the mythology of the of both the graphic novel and the original movie but really do something that that would speak to this generation and and yeah it was a really exciting and challenging creative process.